Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to enable shared folders in VMware Workstation and what that will do is allow you to copy files between virtual machines and what you want to do to enable that is go to their virtual machine right click it, go to settings go to the options tab and you'll see shared folders and it's usually disabled by default now another thing you'll notice here too, there's guest isolation which is usually enabled by default and what that'll do is it'll let you um, copy files between VMs, but that's only using the VMware Workstation console. So, for example, if I go to my VM here, I have this folder here. So here's a file on my virtual machine, and I also have a file on my host computer. I could drag this over to there, and I could do things like copy and paste. but that's only using the VMware uh, Workstation console. So let's say you had a bunch of virtual machines and you, were just, you, know, you weren't logged into your console here and you wanted to be able to access files and so on or have or them access your host computer, I should say. Um, then you can enable shared folders for that. So what you want to do is go back to the settings. Oops, excuse me. And back to options. And turn on shared folder so you can either have it always be enabled or just enable it until you shut down that VM and then it'll disable it. And then there's another option here to map a drive. So if you want to have an actual drive letter pointing to your host, then you can do that. And I'll show you that. So once you have those checked, just click on add. And you're going to go through this wizard here. So this is your host computer. So you want to browse to the folder you want to share on your host computer. And I have this, I'll just share the same host files folder. And you could change the name if you want. Click on next. This will enable it. And if you want to just read only so people can't, you know, mess with the files there, then you could check that. So I'll click on finish and then OK. Now if I go back to the VM, to this PC, I see I have a shared folders here mapped to my Z drive. Um, I think it might have picked that based on that's the last thing I letter I used, but there there there's a way you could change this if you really want to. Otherwise, I think it just picks whatever letter it wants. So if I click on that, there's the host files folder, and there's those two files that match these two files on my host. And if you don't map the network drive, then you'll have to go to your network icon here, and then here's VMware host, which is my host computer here. Double click it, shared folders. And this will show, you know, there's the host files folders. And if I were to share other folders, they'd all be listed here. And then there's my files. Now, one thing on your VM, if you don't have the network discovery enabled, it'll pop up a message saying you need to turn on network discovery in order to see this computer. Then it'll give you a little box you could click on to turn that on. Then you should be good to go. So once again, go to your VM, settings. Options, turn on shared folders, and if you want to remove a particular one, you can click on and remove it, or if you want to disable it right there, you could do that, or if you want to get rid of the map drive, you could disable it from there. Pretty simple, you just need to do it for each VM where you want to enable this feature, and that's about it. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.